I wrote a story a few years ago about the woman who wrote her life. And it was, she didn't realize <laughs> she, every morning she would get up and write in her journal and forget what she had written and then go out and live it. And she didn't know she was doing that until one day she woke up and she saw what she was doing. And she's like, I'm writing this. I'm writing my life. What if I don't? And she stopped writing. And her life went off track. It went off the rails. But what happened was she came back to her life, the one that she had, and she embraced it. She appreciated it in a way that she couldn't have before. Her husband had been like out looking for her because she was just gone all day. Like she didn't show up at work and where the hell did she go? And she was off on these adventures, right? And But she came home. And what am I pointing to with this? There's a willingness to, to, to live the story, whatever story I'm in, to see the story, to show up with it and know myself as more than the story as feel myself as the paper the story is being written on that makes the story more enjoyable even when it doesn't go the way I want, that helps me to, to recognize the agency that I do have, the influence that I do have on the story when it gets tough. Sure. And not be so attached to my joyful stories either. Because they can be just as uh, debilitating sometimes if I hang on to them. You know, like needing it to stay 